This chapter will examine how rock and roll changed in the early 1960s while still fulfilling the interests of the large youth market. Various regional and demographically targeted styles emerged, creating a vast and diverse popular music scene. The model for a hit factory, where songs were created for a public hungry for songs, had already been established in the early 20th century through Tin Pan Alley in New York City. In the early 1960s, New York City was again the center for successful popular music creation. The Brill Building housed music creation, publishing, and recording all in a formulaic manner. The executives at Alden Music, the publishing wing of the Brill Building, produced numerous teen idols and girl groups in order to continue to capture the ears and pocketbooks of young consumers. They employed some of the most talented songwriting teams of their time. Another region where the teen consumer was actively sought was Philadelphia. A young business major and radio DJ, Dick Clark, wanted to appeal to teens as well as make this music acceptable to parents. Clark began the television show American Bandstand, instilling a strict dress and dance code, which featured teens dancing with each other to the latest hits. American Bandstand in Clark's direction is credited with starting the dance craze of the 1960s called The Twist, which is based on a hit single by Dick Clark discovery Chubby Checker. Clark was also involved with promoting attractive young male teen idols like Fabian, Frankie Avalon, and Bobby Rydell. An older, college-aged music listener was focusing their interests in a folk music revival in the early 1960s. Artists like Bob Dylan, Joan Baez, and groups like Peter, Paul, and Mary and the Kingston Trio brought the music of folk icons Pete Seeger and Woody Guthrie, as well as their own new music, to a generation hungry for music with more substantial content. Also during this time, recording studio practices develop, allowing for more creativity in the process. Probably the most influential producer from this time is Phil Spector, who worked with the Brill Building teams. His distinctive wall of sound style attracted the attention of many in the business, including Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys and the Beatles. Another style rapidly growing during this time was Sweet Soul, with its roots in gospel and doo-wop. Balladeers like Sam Cooke, Nat King Cole, Johnny Mathis, and the Drifters had a string of hits during this time. California, with its coastal way of life and good weather, produced surf rock. Instrumental surf rock inspired by Hawaiian guitar techniques and played by artists like Dick Dale, The Ventures, and The Chantays captured the power of the ocean and the life on the beach while the vocal surf rock groups like Jan and Dean and the Beach Boys created the soundtrack to California beach life that spread throughout the U.S. and abroad.